Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be looking at unenveloping a pen from this package from Cult Pens all the way in the UK. What we're going to do is take a look at the pen. We'll discuss the features, fill it with ink, do a writing sample, then I'll give you my first impressions. So please join me down on the mat. Let's kickstart this conversation. So here we are down on the mat. Let's fetch in the box. So the box we've got is here. This is a Narwhal pen. I love the decoration on these boxes. Just turn this round so we can see. So we've got Narwhal on the side. Nothing on the bottom. Now wall on the other side. Simple but nice. Going to ease the pen out. So it's actually a sliding tray. So if I pull the tray out, that reveals this. Let me turn this around. So here we've got a black leather, I want to say leather red pouch. And then opening that up, we've got the pen in a plastic pouch. So I'm going to take that out. I love the way it's packaged. You know, it's really well thought of. That pouch, I reckon I could get two or three pens in there, to be honest. So that's going to be handy for carrying around. Let me fetch in my pen stand. And we'll slide this pen out of the plastic. There it comes. So this is the Narwhal Key West Las Coloradas. And what I've done is got this in a broad. Let's just move that there. It's a bit more central. Just look at this pen. Look at the purple and the sparkles. Absolutely love this. Really nice bright colours there. You're certainly not going to miss this pen, are you? Let's take a walk through. We start with the dome. Come down to this brass coloured clip, which is nice and springy. The cap is tapering out until it gets to the bottom of that clip. Then it's straight until we get down to this metal band. The metal band goes all the way around. Got some nice decoration on there. Just spin that around for you one more time. We've got a gentle step down then to the body. The body seems to be the same width until about halfway down. Then it starts to gently taper until we get to the end and another rounded end. Love the look of this. It really looks nice. So the cap is half. That's one. One and a half. About one and three quarter turns to come off. Then that reveals this gorgeous narwhal nib. So the nib, we've got some decoration near the top. On both sides, it's got a, a nice decorative band going down from about a third of the way down the pen all the way down to where it joins the section. We've got the breather hole, and then below that, we've got the Narwhal logo. Really nice, really simple looking. There's no indication on here as to the actual size of the nib, but as I say, I ordered a broad. Love the look of this. The nib then comes into the section, the section has got a slight hourglass shape to it, so it tapers down from the end. There's a definite lip there which you can feel. Tapers down and then slightly out until it gets to these metal, which is where the cap then seals. If I unscrew this, got all metal fittings. Then here we've got a roll away converter, which the whole pen's trying to escape. And that's really nice and smooth to go down and up. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Let me just pop this together. There we go. Just going to fetch in another stand and we'll do some size comparisons. So here we are with that narwhal. I'm going to fetch in a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. Very similar in shape and size to the Metropolitan. If anything, I would say it's really slightly longer than the Metropolitan. It is, though, about the same size as the Safari. Let me take the caps off. Now, 
So we've got a larger nib than both the Safari and the Metropolitan. Uncapped size-wise, again, very similar to the Metropolitan. I would say the section is slightly wider, so it may be a bit more comfortable to hold because one of the things I find is that Metropolitan section is just a little bit on the thin side for me. With the Safari, well, it's hard to compare the sections because the Safari, it's got that different shaped section to it. Also a little bit shorter again. Let's, cut, let's post them. So that's the Safari posted. Doesn't really post. Let's post the Metro. Yeah, that does post. So if you like your pens posted, I don't think this is the one for you. And also, you'll end up scratching that gorgeous finish. But it doesn't really need to be posted. Certainly not for me. It fits really nice in my hand anyway. So pop this back together and clear these two out. Two other pens I'm going to compare it against. The first one, it's a Narwhal Key West. And this time it's the Isla Mirada. So it's the yellow version as opposed to this, which is the purple version. I've got to be honest, I do prefer the purple color. And then I've got a Narwhal Stool Kill. So three Narwhals in a row there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just step away. I'm going to clean out the pen. When I come back, we'll take a look at the ink, fill the pen, do a writing sample, then I'll give you my first impressions. So here I am back. The ink I'm going to be using today, it's by Cult Pens, actually made by Diamine, but sold under the Cult Pens name. And it's Cult Pens Little Pip. Gorgeous purple ink, but it's got this, I would say at the moment, it looks to me like a bit of a goldy brown sheen to it. Be interesting to see what this looks like when we're writing. I think this is a really nice match for this pen and hopefully if that sheen comes out we'll get something which will draw your eyes like the sparkle do in the pen. So nice colour and I think this is the first time that I've had this in a pen. So let's fetch in the ink. I'm just going to agitate it before I fill it. So hopefully that's got all that sheen there nicely mixed up. There we go. Let's take the lid off. We'll fetch in the koala. I always like to make sure I've got something to hold these bottles just to try and minimize any chance of accidentally spilling the ink. Okay, I'm taking the pen apart. There we go, that plunger all the way down. In goes the pen, up comes the plunger. And off one fill, we're more than three quarters full, so I'll leave it at that. I'll just wipe off the nib and I'll reassemble the pen. And let's get this ink out of the way. There we go. So I'll fetch in a notepad. This notepad is by Black and Red and it uses the Oxford Optic paper. So let's do our writing sample. So what have we got? We've got a narwhal. Key West. And it's Lass. C-O-L. Got to spell this. Even though I'm copying it down, it's Coloradas. I want to keep saying Colorado, but it's not. It's Coloradas. And it's a broad nib. And it cost me 75 Australian dollars. The ink. Wanted to put Colt Diamine then. Colt Pens. I said it's made by Diamine anyway. And it's Little Pip. Gorgeous purple color isn't it let me just pop the cap back on so you can see where the purple's coming through how that actually does match quite nicely with a pen or at least in my opinion it does and already we can see some of that sheen coming through hopefully as that dries that will dry a little bit more goldy but if not it still looks nice anyway drying times immediate 10 seconds 30 seconds. Finally, one minute. I'll have to go into a new line for my one minute one as well. Look at that. After a minute, still smudging a bit. So I need to think about this if I'm going to be using it for long form notes, because as a combination, it seems extremely wet. Let's do a writing sample.
yeah, that's quite nice. I'm already seeing quite a bit of shading coming through, as well as some of that black sheen. Is there any line variation? Not really seeing much there. This is gentle. This is with a bit more pressure, so slightly wider, but I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. Down across, and again, let's put a bit more pressure on. So not much in the way of line variation. If anything, I would say the only difference is the amount of ink it's putting down. Just going to move this page up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fetch in my other Narwhal Key West, which is the Anna Marada. This has got a medium nib, so I'm going to put here, I'm going to go A, B, C, D, and I'm out of ink. So after that embarrassment, I've put some more ink in here, so we'll go again. A, B, C, D, E, and F. As I said, this is with a medium nib. Now I'm going to use the last Coloradus. I'm going to do the same underneath it. A, B, C, D, E, and F. So this is with a broad nib. I've got to be honest, to my eye, I don't see a lot of difference between the two. If anything, I'd say the medium is a broader nib, but maybe I need to write a bit more because I've been using that yellow one quite a lot lately. So the nib might, it might be more attuned to my writing now, whereas the purple one, obviously, with being new, it's still very stiff. But if we look at the writing that we have got, we've got this gorgeous colour here. I love the purple. We can see a lot of shading coming through. Again, looks really nice. No line and variation, as we said, and it's the sheen. It's coming through as black, but it's definitely there. You can see quite a lot of that. Let me just hopefully see if I can catch some of that in the light for you. But yeah, lovely. So what are my first impressions of this pen? Well, as you can tell, I'd like the pen anyway, because I've already got one. I love the shape. I love the way it feels in the hand. I love how comfortable it is. The nib, I think, is a number six nib. So it's a nice standard size nib. Really nice. It writes really well, as we can see. There's a bit of feedback there. It's not overly smooth. You can really feel it. I was going to say it feels a little bit like a soft pencil. It's definitely not hard, but it is enjoyable. Really nice experience. I love the colour. Just look at that gorgeous purple. And I love the way that you've got them bits of silver in there. To me... I know it's going to sound a bit weird. It looks a little bit like you're looking up at the night sky and you've got that darkness, that purple of the background, but then you've got the stars all shining through. I think it looks really, really nice. So this is the Narwhal Key West Lost Coloradus with that broad nib. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What do you think about this Narwhal pen? Isn't it a gorgeous purple colour? And them sparkles which just fetch it out. It looks so nice. Have you got any other purple pens that you could recommend? How about some purple inks? I've actually had a number of people ask me to do some more with purples. So please drop a comment down below. Please hit that thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, well, it just helps to send my content out to other people. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.